On Wednesday, the Food and Drug Administration took the first step towards phasing out the widespread use of antibiotics in animal production, citing a potential threat to public health. The government agency will ask pharmaceutical companies to voluntarily stop labeling drugs important to treating human infection as acceptable in animals that are processed for meat. The goal is to slow the growth of antibiotic-resistant diseases in humans by decreasing the use of the drugs in animals. Using antibiotics in any situation, whether it's in humans or in animals, creates the possibility of some resistance. So resistance Dr. Hurd is a former deputy undersecretary for food safety at USDA, which put him in charge of all the meat inspection in the U.S. Lately, he's been researching antibiotic use in livestock at Iowa State University. It's just like ammunition, if you will, in your armory. Um, and that's what veterinarians need is ammunition. So you don't waste your ammunition. You don't, we don't use it for animals that don't need it. You don't use, use it unless there is a specific infection found on the farm. And then when you find that, you get your veterinarian involved who writes a prescription just like he does for you and says, okay, use this stuff for this time period and then get it out of there. That's what we're in favor of. Antibiotic resistance is a growing problem, and the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention estimates that more than 23,000 people die annually from drug-resistant infections. Consumers have become increasingly concerned about the issue, and it's one that FDA has tried to address for years. It is unclear, however, how much of the problem can be attributed to the use of drugs in meat production. From my perspective, um, the science about antimicrobial resistance and its relationship to antibiotics being used in animal agriculture isn't clear. And the Craig Rolls, a pork a producer in Iowa with 8,000 sows and 43 employees, is able to market 150,000 pigs a year. Producers like ourselves, we understand that antibiotics are an important tool and that we all have to be careful about the way we use them. In the case of growth promotion, the FDA believes that it isn't judicious uh, to use antibiotics in that particular format in the future. Pharmaceutical companies will be given three years to comply with the new guidelines, and in a statement, FDA's deputy commissioner said, we have high confidence based on dialogue with industry that this initiative will succeed. If the companies sign on, the use of antibiotics to promote growth would be illegal, and prescriptions would be required to treat animal illnesses. If compliance isn't achieved, the Food and Drug Administration could push for legislative change. I think first and foremost it's important to understand that antibiotics are used primarily for the treatment, prevention, and control. And when we think about the uses that are the most important to producers, uh, we want to make sure that we have a tool like an antibiotic to treat that animal when they do get sick. That's what's important because we know that the first step in a safe food supply is to have a healthy animal available to go into that food supply.